Welcome back, this is Annie, and today I'm going over the recent pre-order from Salt Mountain Melts. This is the pre-order that was in July, and I received this today, September 17th. Her next pre-order is September 18th, so about 24 hours away, and I wanted to go ahead and open my box, smell everything, and put it away before I ordered more. We'll see if I get this uploaded later today. I know there's probably other people who've gotten their boxes, but I've been trying not to watch anybody's until I've sniffed everything for myself. Now, you'll note this is a regional rate box B, and I did this last pre-order really hold myself back from what I normally order from Smalt Mountain. Normally, I get two large flat rate boxes. <laughs> But this time I was like, no, with the moving kind of looming on the horizon, I just didn't want to add that much to my collection, even though Salt Mountain Melts is one of my favorite vendors. Amanda's the owner, and she's based in Utah. And as you'll see, there's a lot of things about her wax that make her one of my favorites. So this is how the inside of the box looked as soon as I opened it. Like I said, I haven't smelled anything. She always includes some candy and we appreciate that. Thank you so much, Amanda. And this is her business card. I appreciate that she always packs things so that they're not rattling around in the box. Um, there's always some sort of shred, usually these disposable peanuts that are holding my objects in place so that they're not getting too much damage in shipping. There were a lot of good scents on this pre-order list and then some that just certain notes didn't appeal to me so it did help me weed down this list a little bit more. Let's start with Miss Loaf in Evil Queen. And I have ordered this from her before. I got some last fall. And I really like this. Those notes are Cider Lane, Whipped Cream, and Sugar Cookies. And one of the reasons I love her is she has just beautiful wax and really cute, well thought out labels. I have melted this before and I will say it's primarily Cider Lane. It's a beautiful vibrant red. It's that caramel apple. There's not any cinnamon or spices to it. And you do get a hint of sugar cookie. But I will say to me this is primarily Cider Lane even once it's melted which I don't mind because most of the other stuff I have with Cider Lane is a blend and I really like Cider Lane itself. So I went ahead and got another loaf of this because I wanted to just be able to melt Cider Lane later this fall and winter um, on its own mainly without having other spices and other things like detracting from it. Another one I've tried from her before that I ordered last fall and I just love this blend is Hungry Ghost and this is also another really popular one from her. It's pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. Now I just love that there's these little white ghost glitters. A little bit crumbly so I may not pull this out fully of the tin. It's a lighter orange than last year too. Last year it was a much more vibrant and this is kind of a toned down like light peach color. I love pumpkin pecan waffles, and if you're not familiar with that, that is a maple-y buttery waffle with toasted pecans and a hint of pumpkin. 
to me the pumpkin is really really light I mainly get the toasted pecans and the waffle and the maple and butter and it's a Bath and Body Works dupe but don't let this on first sniff on cold sniff um, fool you this is a wonderful pumpkin pecan waffles blend it is just so cozy and there is something extra to it you definitely get the sugar cookie note that kind of buttery crispy golden cookie that's all warm and kind of like toasty on the edges not like the soft pillowy ones and just a hint of the toasted marshmallow and it just adds something else to the pumpkin pecan waffles so it's not just a straight um, pumpkin pecan waffle loaf it's just so good I already have a loaf of this that's been curing since last year and I wanted to get another one in case I really melted a lot this year um, in the fall and the winter and I also wanted to have some in case she didn't offer it next winter next fall I remember last year when I first smelled this on cold I thought this is really sweet I don't know if it's going to be too sweet for me once I melt it but that initial sweetness does tone down and it just has this richness and cozy bakeriness to it that's beyond just a regular pumpkin pecan waffles and it's wonderful oops let me get that back in focus another one that I have melted before that I got another loaf of and I really should have gotten more of this because this is one of my favorites from her is bread and jam for Francis now this is based off of a children's book series and if you're a parent and you have kids or grandkids even I highly recommend finding this book series about Francis the Badger it is so precious and we read this as kids I grew up on the Francis the Badger series and they were some of my favorite stories as a young girl and one of the books is called bread and jam for Francis which is what this blend is named after and the scent notes are baked zucchini bread blackberry jam butter cookies and creamy butter I had the opportunity to try this for the first time last summer and I fell in love since then I've had a little falling out with zucchini bread, but I still have about half a loaf of my loaf from last year. And I did melt some before ordering another loaf of this just to see, and it didn't trigger me, so I went ahead and got another loaf. It also reminded me of how good this blend is. Let me see if I can get it out for y'all without too many crumbles. And it's a light green with these pink um, glitter. Oh, she had been pouring these in layers, so the pink and the green, but I guess this time it's just a solid color, which is totally fine. My other loaf was layered, but. Oh, this is so good. It's definitely heavy on that buttery bakery note. That same buttery note that you get in blackberry jam butter cookies is there, but it's kind of amped up some. And it's just so rich and mouth-watering to me. Now, you do have to like blackberry jam butter cookies because that is very dominant in this scent. And there is zucchini bread, but honestly, as somebody who's been having problems melting zucchini bread the zucchini bread is really good in this and it didn't bother me when I melted it about two months ago if you're unfamiliar with what zucchini bread smells like try imagining a loaf of a carrot cake but taking out all of that spice that carrot cake usually has and then taking that bread and lightly toasting it in the oven kind of with this whole blend that's what it makes me think of a warm slice of this sweet breakfasty bread and the dessert toasty and then I've taken a great big pat of this bright yellow butter that has so much flavor in it 
and spread it across and it's melting into this bread and then a big spoonful of this jammy blackberry um, all of that spread across the bread and then taking a bite of that that's what this smells like to me and it just smells so good sometimes zucchini bread in fender wax will smell on the savory side sometimes more on the sweet and creamy side and this one to my nose is a little bit more on the creamy and savory side of things but it does not smell like corn chips or feed to my nose you definitely get the fruity blackberry jam note it's not a perfumey blackberry it's that thick kind of dark jamminess that's sticky and sweet and has that bit of earthiness that blackberries have and then the butteriness like I was saying this is just such a beautiful blend if you like bakery I highly recommend picking this up next time she offers it. There is a reason why this is a cult favorite. And I'd like to remind everyone that these are just, for the most part, unless I have melted this in the past, these are just first sniffs, my first impressions. And once I've warmed them, I'll be able to give a better review of how it performed how I actually wound up liking the scent in the way it matters, which is once it's melted. I have not melted this one. Um, I tried to get this last fall, but it was in the RTS and I just um, did not have fast enough fingers. And this is Cake at the Orchard or Orhicard. As Amanda pointed out recently, um, I guess she didn't relabel these, but there is a little typo in there. So this is Cake at the Orchid Card, and it's Apple Cider Donut, Birthday Cake, and Bartlett Pear. I love Apple Cider Donut scent. It's one of my favorites, honestly, year-round. And I really love pear scents as well. This is a beautiful dark green with little copper leaves on top. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Yes. My mouth is immediately starting to water because of the pear note. Pear, if it's a good pear oil, always seems to do that for me. If you are not sure about trying pear and you want to get a pear blend from somewhere, um, that's a little bit easier for you to pick something up and try it to see if you like pear. I recommend picking up a blend with pear from L3. They have an excellent pear oil. And if you're not sure what to pair it with, I personally love their pear with salty sea air. Anyways, back to this blend, if I can get it out. Okay. Oh, it's so nice. You definitely get that cinnamon and clove from the apple cider donuts. But it's not too overdone. And then this thick syrupy sweetness of the apple and the pear is just beautiful together. It really reminds me of um, like an apple pear crisp. I love apple crisp on my on its own and I love pear crisp on its own but I really love blending apple and pear together during the fall because they just add some extra flavor and I just I love baked pear honestly if you've never tried that I would highly suggest mixing it with your apple or even making a pear pie I always make a pear pie every Thanksgiving and it is just one of my favorites. Oh, this is so good. That's really nice. I will say, I don't know that I pick up on birthday cake. Birthday cake to me is usually just a general cake note and the donut is in there. And I think that's more of a strong bakery oil than birthday cake. So that's really what I'm picking up on. All right. 
Let's go over the last of the Lowe's. And I normally go crazy with the Lowe's of Salt Mountain. I normally get loaves in a bunch more scents and I normally get multiple loaves in different scents that I know I like or think I will like but again just trying to be reasonable this time this is easy bake oven and this is maraschino cherry fruity pebbles cotton candy and frosted cupcakes I have not smelled this one I have seen people asking for this back and I have found that even though I am a cherry hater I actually like Amanda's Maraschino Cherries. Definitely get the Fruity Pebbles. Let me take this out without being too curly. It's, it's solid yellow all the way through, y'all. So, first thing I get is definitely the Fruity Pebbles. And Fruity Pebbles, especially on cold, kind of comes off with the lemon and the orange being dominant. And sometimes it has a tiny hint of a citronella scent to it. But usually once that's warmed, it goes away. And I believe that will be the case with this one. I get the cherry just lightly. But mainly I'm getting fruity pebbles. I'm not really getting anything else. But that's okay. It might need a little bit more cure time. And obviously things will come out better once they've warmed. All right, let me do a quick sort. Okay, I got one souffle of this. The Easy Bake Oven. I'm not gonna smell that one again. I got one souffle of Insatiable, and this is tobacco leaf, vanilla caramel sauce, and cinnamon glazed donuts. I went back and forth on whether to order this one or not because I haven't really branched out into trying tobacco just a few cents, honestly, and I haven't loved them, so I thought, just get one souffle. The first thing I get is the cinnamon glazed donuts. Definitely get that cinnamon sugary smell. The bakery is a little bit light. And then I get this whiff of this masculine Kind of woodsy note. I actually think this will be okay. The tobacco is not like overwhelmingly strong and I do love cinnamon sugar scents so we'll see. And I got three souffles of heat wave. I went back and forth on getting a loaf and sometimes when I'm in that indecisive mode I get three souffles instead because that's almost the equivalent weight of a loaf and it's almost a dollar cheaper and if I start melting one of these souffles and find that I don't like the scent, I can gift the other two pretty easily instead of having a loaf that I've chopped into. Again, cute label and this is strawberry, raspberry, guava, and margarita. I can't remember if at this point of the pre-order I had melted the other item that I have with her margarita oil. Um, oh, it's room service. So room service was a new blend that she had a few pre-orders ago and it was strawberry pound cake and margarita. And I only got a few souffles of that initially. Well, that's all I had because she didn't offer it again yet. And on cold, I did not like it because the margarita was coming off really, really bitter in that lime note. And I'm not a big lime fan in wax anyways, so that bitterness was really off-putting. And then I finally melted it and was blown away and so, so regretful that I did not get a loaf of it. 
because it was just fantastic. So I already opening this can smell that same bitter lime from the margarita oil, but I know that it's not going to be bitter once it's melted. It's kind of a yellowy green. It's an unusual cho color choice. It'll probably be very vibrant melted. It almost looks like um, maybe two different batches or two different colors. Yeah, this smells good, except for that bitter artificial lime margarita note that, like I said, does go away once it's melted and it turns into such a good lime scent. Um, it's so strong on that note that you don't get a lot of the other, but I do get a little bit of that strawberry guava. So definitely anticipate that one being good. Okay, I'm gonna open up a second one just because I am curious if these are actually layered or if it was just um, that one. Yeah, it was just that one. I have high hopes on this one being good because a lot of people love this one and there are similarities from the strawberry to the strawberry pound cake, the margarita one. So this may be a good replacement for not having a loaf of that other one. And then, okay. I only got one of these. And this is an extremely popular blend. It's Coven, and it's Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, and Powdered Donut. And I've never picked this one up before because um, the Palo Santo and Marshmallow Fireside, last time she offered it, I just wasn't feeling like adding to my collection in a lot of amounts. And this time I only got one because I have tried her Palo Santo and Palo Santos are different, so different amongst different vendors. And this one is more of a sweet, smoky, kind of perfumey, cologne-y Palo Santo. And I find that I prefer the ones that are a little woodsier and earthier. So that's why I only picked up one. Yeah, it's definitely more of that strong, masculine Palo Santo. I get that with just a hint of the sweetness of Marshmallow Fireside. And those are so strong, it really covers up the powdered donut on cold. Definitely have to melt it to see if the powdered donut comes out more. But those other two just drown that powdered donut out on cold. And then I did get another souffle of cake at the Orchard. No, that one's pronounced, that is spelled right. This is not cake at the Orchard, this is Orchard. Orchard. Darn it. I am starting to pronounce Orchard incorrectly. <laughs> you see? Cake at the Orchard. Or. or <laughs> I cannot talk. Cake at the Orchard card and cake at the orchard. All right. I need to go practice my reading skills, I guess. Um, it's late at night. We went and saw a movie and um, that's my excuse. <laughs> All right. I got two souffles of 100% Bat Witch and it's pumpkin cupcake candy corn and cupcakes at Tiffany's. I really like cupcakes at Tiffany's and that's the only reason I picked this one up because I am still so burnt out on pumpkin scents from last fall. I just really overdid them. That's also why I skipped the other pumpkin scent that was offered. I knew that it was a spicier pumpkin oil and I was just like, I don't, I still have so much pumpkin spice stuff that I just didn't want to get it. 
but really cute label. A light turquoisey green. You definitely get some of that sweet pumpkin and the cupcakes at Tiffany's Oil, which is a yellow cake with a buttercream frosting. I get a little bit of a toffee note. I don't really get the chocolate on cold. And some cupcakes at Tiffany's have chocolate and some don't. This one, to me, I don't smell chocolate in. Yeah, I don't pick up on the chocolate. But that's nice. I think this will be enough, definitely, for um, how much I'm going to be avoiding pumpkin in the near future. And the last two are two souffles of Sugar Mama. And this is Strawberry Pound Cake Sweet and Salty. And I know a lot of people were so excited about this one because her sweet and salty blend is extremely popular. And that is a pretzel blend that she has. And it's like a sweet bakery dough, soft pretzels. I am in the minority. And I just, I, although I love pretzel blends and I love pretzel oils, that particular blend is... Um, just not something that I really care for. So I decided to just get two souffles. Hopefully I will not regret this. I just love the label of this. Those big fat lips with the money in them. Sugar mama. Okay, this was poor July 30th. My nose just getting kind of desensitized right now. I don't know. I always try to keep my beans handy when I'm smelling stuff. If you're unfamiliar with that, that's these coffee beans. Kind of reset my nose. I have also been having problems this last. Oh, like four or five days. I had a couple of days where I suddenly just lost almost my entire sense of smell for some reason. And I don't think I, ha I don't think I'm sick. Um, we've been having a lot of allergy stuff going on and I've been trying to keep my sinuses clear, but I started getting my sense of smell back the last two days. And that might be contributing to my perception of everything in this box. So definitely don't judge a scent based off of what I'm saying about it on cold. This is so light. I definitely think my nose is still just struggling, whether it's sinus, allergy related, or something else. She has a really good strawberry pound cake oil. I've melted it on its own. I'm kind of a sucker for strawberry pound cake blends. So um, we'll see how that is on, on warm. I guess let me smell the other one. Yeah, I almost get nothing. I'm getting a little bit of the pound cake note. Definitely nothing else, so. I think there's something. My nose is just not picking up on some of the lighter ones. Anyways, that is all that I got this time. Um, I know it'll take me a while to even start melting some of these, but I'm really excited to have some favorites again. I still have some um, bread and jam for Francis, but I'm really excited to have some more and more Hungry Ghosts and Evil Queen because I do really like those and I'm so excited to finally pick some up of this pear and apple cider donut blend because I think this is going to be fabulous and I probably will regret only getting one loaf. I don't know if anybody's still watching at this point in the video but 
I have a bunch of Salt Mountain Melts hauls that I haven't posted, like four or five from this year, and I just don't know if anybody is even interested in watching them this long after. Let me know if y'all want me to go ahead and make those available for y'all to watch. If y'all want me to go ahead and upload them, comment down below. Um, let me know what y'all got. Did you get anything from this pre-order? Are you ordering on the 18th? Have you melted any of these before? And if so, I'd love to know what y'all's thoughts are from any of these, whether they're new blends or ones that you've melted before. Thank y'all for watching.